Das ist ja immer nur eine Gänse. Hi guys, my name is Belinda and I go by the name of Belinda Chosen. Welcome back to my channel guys. If you are new here, you are welcome to all the new subscribers. Everyone welcome back. So today's video is very exciting. Uh, I love blazers. Blazers. I don't know if you guys like blazers like I do, but I love blazers. And over the over the course of time, I've been collecting blazers. I don't have a lot, but I have enough. And I just thought I would show it to you guys some of the blazers I haven't worn yet, and some I've worn. I want to show it to you guys. But before I get into the blazer haul, I want to show you guys the three new perfumes that I've added to my collection. I know you guys watched my previous video on my most my 2021 most comp complimented perfume haul. Video. So I just want to show you the three new perfumes that I've added to my collection since. And the first thing I added to my, well, it's not, it's not in order, but yeah, one of the three things that I added to my haul, my haul, <laughs> one of the three things that I added to my collection is this perfume right here. This is Jean Paul Garnier. Hi guys. So I learned this is a French name and it's actually pronounced Jean Paul Garnier. Jean Paul Gartier. <laughs> Bye. Is that his name? Is that how you say it? Gartier, Jean Paul Gartier. This is Scandal by Jean Paul Gartier. This is a very floral perfume, and it says that the notes on these. So the top notes are blood orange and mandarin and mandarin orange. Middle notes are honey, gardenia, orange blossom, jasmine, and peach. And the base notes on these are beeswax, caramel. Pastor Shuli and licorice, licorice. I'll start that on the screen. But this perfume is a very strong floral. My cousin told me about this, and I and I always seen this in the background of people's videos. I'm like, what is that perfume with the legs? And my cousin was like, yeah, that's Gangle. So I went to go smell it, and I fell in love. It smells really, really, really good. I don't know about the name of it, Scandal. Literally, when I brought it to my house. The nerd that I am, I'm like, Lord God, I rebuke any scandals in my life in Jesus' name. Lord, I'm not going for the name. I'm going for the sense. Amen. Amen. But honestly, I like how it's made. Like, it's art. I don't know who's, I don't know whose legs these are. I have no idea. But um, yeah, this is a, a floral scent. It's very, 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 very nice. Mm, it smells really good. Um, I got this at the Bay. And when I got this, it came to full size. It, it was like a, a Christmas kind of like holiday gift set thing. It came with this. It came with a small 10 ml spray as well, as well as a full size body lotion, which I would not be using for my body. I'm going to use it as hand, 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 hand cream, okay? But yeah, this one smells really good. And that is Scandal by Jean Paul Jean. It's Jean Paul, girl. Jean Paul. Garnier, Garnier, oh lord, I'm so sorry. But yeah, I'll insert that on the screen. But yeah, the <laughs> next perfume I have is this one went viral on TikTok. TikTok made me do it. This is Ebony Woods by Zara. This is Ebony Woods by Zara. TikTok made me do it. I saw this on TikTok. It was sold out for a while. Um, I went to the store. My location had it. I got the full size of this. The small is really, really good. Um, this is quite strong. It's very woody. If you don't like woody scents or strong scents, you're not going to like this. If you only like floral scents, you're definitely going to like this. A lot of people love or hate this. Um, I love it. This has become like my everyday scents because this is my cheapest perfume that I own. So I don't mind using this every day. I try to look for the top notes and the base notes of this. Zara doesn't give us that information. It just says, made accords, warm, spicy, woody, and soft, spicy. But yeah, this is the Ebony Woods from Zara. The next perfume that I have is this one I wanted for a very long time. I had my eyes on it. And once Sephora, once Sephora had like their sale recently, like their VIB sale, my mom got this for me as an early birthday gift. This is Mason Mangella Replica um, in the scent Whispers in the Library. I really, really like this. It's a very subtle smell. It's not as strong. One thing I've learned is this is an Andu Toilette. The Andu Toilettes are... are not as strong as an Andu perfume. So this is a very soft, light scent, which still lasts, but this you might have to reapply through, um, during like the day, in the course of the day. This one, yeah, this one I have to reapply. It doesn't last as long, but you can definitely smell it and it's very soft and subtle. This is a warm and spicy fragrance. The scent type is Woody Spices. Key notes are 
pepper essence, toka bean, absolute, and cedarwood. So that is pepper essence, toka bean, absolute, and cedarwood. This um, scent of wood, wax, and old books. Mm, this doesn't really smell like books to me, to be honest, or any kind of wax. It does not smell like the library either, or any like, you know like that scent when you open a new book? This doesn't have that smell, so I, I don't know. I, they might have to change the name. I, I, I don't know, to me it doesn't smell like, like books or wax or library, I, I don't know. But yeah, this is my first Macy Mangella perfume. Thank you, mom, for my early birthday gift. Like, people are like, what do you want for your birthday? I'm like, perfume blazers. <laughs> but yeah, this is the Macy Mangella Whispers in the Library. So that's the three new perfumes that I added to my collection. There's so much more perfumes that I want, but I'm not ready for those kind of, for those type of because they're expensive. They're like too expensive. When I get to that level, I'll get those. Those are like the Tom Fords. We know that Tom Ford costs like so much money. I ain't there yet. I'm happy with what I have right now. But yeah, you came for the Blazer Collective Haul. So yeah, let me show you guys the Blazer. Some of the Blazers that I have are from the men's section. I love a man blazer. Love, love a man blazer. But yeah, without further ado, let's get in right into this haul. So guys, the first blazer I have in this collection is this one I'm already wearing. This is from Zara. And this was originally retail at $159, but I got it on sale for $49. Hey, this is a small. And this blazer is a, it's a blue blazer. Don't ask me what shade of blue it is. I'm not colorblind, I just don't know. But yeah, this is this blazer right here. It's so nice, beautiful, well-structured. Love, 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 love it. It's so beautiful. Like, this paired with anything, all black, white, jeans, leggings, with a nice bag. This, honestly, it's so beautiful. I haven't worn this yet. It still has the tag on it. But yeah, this is this blazer. So guys, the next blazer I have is a man blazer from... Top shop. I got it from the men's section in a size 38. I love how structured this blazer is. This is why I love men blazer. I love how it's fitted, the nice shoulder pad, and I love how it looks the structure on the side. I also like how it looks in the back as well. And um, I haven't worn this yet. As you can see, I got this early summer, but I just need somewhere to go. This looks good with an outfit. You can wear this to church, wear this to dinner. You can wear this anywhere, but yeah, this is a 38. I got the smallest one that they have, because, and I just like how like the sleeve is so like long. I love long sleeve. I hate things that like like short like this. I like the long sleeve, but you wouldn't believe like this is a man blazer. But yeah, this is from the men's section, a top shop from the bay. This is when they were closing down. They're having their closing down sale. I also got this for forty nine dollars. I love love this blazer. I can't wait to style this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait to sell this. Yes, I love it. Somebody song go find me one day. One day. I don't dare wait. So guys, the next blazer I have is a blazer. It's a crop blazer from Simeon's. I believe, yeah, Simeon, Simon, Simeon. I think it's Simeon's. I got this early in the summer as well. This is a very nice purple blazer. It's a crop blazer. I feel like this is like a statement piece. Um, they had like a matching skirt, but it was sold out. I wish I could get a matching skirt. I would match it up with the skirt and with some knee-high boots. Oh my gosh, that would look so good for a cute little dinner date. But yeah, this is this crop one. I've worn this once to church. I wore this with like a, like those oversized baggy jeans. But yeah, this is this one. I like the oversized look, but I also want something like girly, very feminine. But yeah, this is this blazer. So guys, the next blazer I have is this blazer I got from Winners. This is a man blazer. I got it from the men's section and this is a size 38. This is a 38. Yep, it's a size 38. I love the color of this blazer because one thing about me, I tend to go more towards black, very dark colors, but as you can see with the last one, the purple and then the blue one, this blue one right here, it's a very cute number right here. I like the sleeve. It's Perfect, just how I like it. It's very structured. That's one thing I like about men blazer. It's a bit more structured than women blazer. So I like how structured it is. I like how it looks. It's perfect. It's perfect. I don't need to get it tailored or nothing like that. But yeah, this one is this blazer from Winners. I also purchased this blazer for $49. And I think I've worn this once as well. But yeah, this is this blazer. 
So the next blazer that I have is this blazer I got from the men's section at Top Shop in the Bay before I closed down. This is a size 38. In all of my men blazer, I get in the size 38, and all of my women blazer is a size small. But yeah, this blazer, I saw this in the men's section, I fell in love with it. This is a very nice dark green with like a dark blue color to it. It's so nice. I love the structure. I love the nice pattern. I think the pattern is what really gives it like the structure that it has. It, for blazers, I feel like the pattern gives it the structure and like the material itself. I hate flimsy materials for blazers. I like a nice, thick, good material on blazers. But yeah, this is this blazer from Tom. So guys, this next blazer is from Zara. I got this from Zara Women. I got this in a size small. This is a brown blazer. Now this got sold out pretty quick. I love the structure of it. I love like how it cinches in. I love this blazer so much. I haven't worn it yet. I need the perfect place to wear this too. I need to go somewhere so I can wear this. And I would have, I would have loved to also have the matching pants, but yeah, they didn't have any matching pants for this. But I love how structured it is. I love the back. I love how it looks in the side. You see how like it cinches in right here, and the arms are not short, guys. It's perfect. I love this. This even looks good with this all black outfit. Imagine if I added a nice heel to go with this and a nice bag. Oh, it even looks good with this necklace and this. Bob, oh my gosh, it looks so good. It, look, it looks like I'm ready for business. But yeah, this is a small blazer, women from Zara. I love it. This next blazer is a Zara men blazer. I got this in a size 38. I don't know what color to, got to call this. This is what, a mint kind of green? I'm not sure if this is a mint green, but some kind of green. But I also love the look and the fit of this blazer, the oversized look. It looks very structured. You're gonna hear me say stru structure like 50 times because I like it when it's structured. Like, I can't stress it enough. My blazer has to be structured. I like how it looks in the front. I like how it looks over there. I like this little, I don't know, this little, I don't know, just the fit right here. This little kind of slip over here, I love that. It looks so, so good. This goes with a lot of things. You can wear this with, with a white outfit. You can wear this with a dress. You can wear this with all black. Like my, I always go for all black. That's like my to-go thing. But I love how this looks. It looks so nice. I got this on sale in the men's section. This was originally one hundred fifty-nine dollars. I got this for forty-nine bucks. Forty-nine dollars. Can you imagine? But I love, love the look of this blazer. This next blazer is also a blazer from Zara Men. <laughs> and mind you, I didn't get these blazers for full price. I got them at sale price this most of these blazers go for 159 and i got all of them on sale for 49 dollars 49.99 but yeah this is this man blazer right here it's a size 38 as usual um this one fits a bit more baggy but i love that look that's the look that i go for the oversized look most of the times this will go well with anything it will pair with anything you can wear this to your office you can wear this to church you can wear this for dinner, for a night out. You can pair this with anything and it will go so well. But yeah, this is a black blazer from Men, from Zara Men. It looks so good. The next blazer is from Pretty Little Thing. This is in a US size two. This is a gray blazer. This is women. I think they only carry women anyways. But yeah, this is this blazer. I love how it looks as well. It's cute. It's not a bad material, but you can see the difference, the difference in quality between this blazer and my other blazers this one's more on a thinner material it's not as structured as my other zara ones but this is still pretty nice i like how it looks i like the the look of it i like the color the gray color can't complain can't complain i love it but yeah this one is this one from pretty little thing. so the next blazer i have i got from zara women i got this in a size small i also got this on sale for about 49 dollars i like the look of this blazer it's also good quality um, I haven't worn this one yet. I'm just looking, waiting for the right time and somewhere to wear this too. But I love the look of this one as well. Love, love, love the oversized look of it. Um, I don't know what to pair with yet, but I guess it can also go with all black. But yeah, this is this little number over here. It's cute. Love, love. Love it. So guys, next blazer is from Zara Women. And this is a small, in a size small. It's a black 
tuxedo blazer. This comes with the matching pants as well, which I got. But guys, I, I'm too I'm starving, so I'm too lazy to try it on. But I'm just gonna show you guys the blazer. Um, I love love the shape of this blazer. This is a small. I love 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 this. I can't wait to pair this with a nice shoe because with nice shoes because I have the matching bottoms to go with this. Oh my gosh, look at the details like the tux details over here and how like it cinches in and the shape of it is like my favorite thing. That's what sold me like. The tux, like the, the, the style of it and the shape of it, that sold me. It gives you like, you know, a little, it gives you shape and stuff like that. My other blazer is just like an oversized, but this one it gives you a bit of shape, which I like. I love how it looks, the shoulder pads, the shoulder pads it has a bit of a shoulder padding. Love, love that. Let me turn around for you guys, see how it looks. Mmm. This is kind of shaped like my my brown one that I showed you guys earlier from Zara as well. Love how it looks. One of my favorite. Love it. So guys, this next one is from Pretty Little Thing. I got this in the US too. Now, this blazer is a bit thin. It's on the thinner side. So guys, I would have to do a voiceover for this specific clip. I don't know what happened to my audio. But like I was saying, this blazer is on the thinner side. I like the look of the blazer, I like the design, but for the price that I paid, I wish it was thicker. When I got this blazer, I also got this with the matching pants, which I will show you, but it's too big. There's just no point, I'll have to take it in. But overall, I do like the design of the blazer, and yeah, it can go on, it can go on, man. I can style this very, very well, but yeah, pretty little so thing. Guys, last but not least, is this leather blazer in black that I got from M Boutique. Now this is not my favorite because it's, even though this blazer was expensive, this is like back when like the leather blazer was like in style. Well, it's still in style, like when it just first came out and they were all sold out everywhere. And I, um, it's all right, but it's not bad, whatever, it, it works. But yeah, this is this M Boutique blazer here in Canada. M Boutique, I think in the Canada, I'm not sure, but yeah, I got this from M Boutique. Um, you can see with it button up, it looked too scrunchy. Like, I don't like the scrunchy look. Like, it just makes it look kind of cheap. So I always wear it button down because it just, I feel like it looks better. It looks more classy, but I still like it though. I was in love with it when I first got it, but when I discovered like the structures and stuff, I'm just like, yeah, I could have done better. But yeah, this is this blazer. It's so guys, that is all the blazers I have in this collective blazer haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to comment, like. Comment, like, and subscribe, man. I love you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you, family. I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye. So guys, that is all the blazers I have for you guys in this collective haul. I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. Um, if you're not subscribed, I, yeah, click that subscribe button. Click, blah. So, um, the thing is that uh, we want to, build like we want to. if i compose the camera it's so much more better quality i have to come close to the camera you know what i'm saying so guys that is all i have for this collective hub i'm hungry I'm starving. What am I gonna eat? Ooh, what am I gonna eat? Oh, what the heck? What is that? What is that? What is that? Is there a fly in here? How did that fly get in here? Oh, mm. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, hungry. What am I gonna eat? Mmm, mmm, some salmon, some rice and peas. Okay, let me close out this haul. Okay. My look. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go.
Let's do it again. Okay. So guys, that is all I have for you guys in this collective haul video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys again. That's it, I'm not doing it again. No. I thank God for the best of